In this video, I'm throwing something a bit new for me. It's all porcelain and what you can see me doing here now is adding in some small inclusions of coloured stained porcelain because I'm looking to get an agate marbled effect. Um, these are going to be small bowls that are going to be used, or the idea is that they'll be used for Ikebana frogs. Uh, so little metal stands, basically it's a pebble-like shape that will be used for holding very simple stylized flower displays. Uh, yes, and as I mentioned, the, the shape is supposed to be reminiscent of a pebble with the kind of veining that you would find naturally in stones. So as the throwing progresses, you'll see that when I begin to take um, some of the slurry off the top rim, that the, the inclusions of the clay, which are actually going to be blue once it's fired, you can begin to see them. They're going to be revealed. So this is filmed at um, slightly speeded up. They, they're actually slower than this, but I will have to put them back on the wheel afterwards to do some more trimming, but essentially it's just a simple small shape with an opening that is eight centimeters when wet, um, and or perhaps it was ten centimeters. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's it's designed to take um, a frog that's six centimeters in diameter, and there I'm just taking the slurry away and just doing the last the last um, trimmings before it gets cut through and taken off the wheel. So I'm just applying a chamois leather to the rim to make sure it's round. It's always difficult knowing exactly when to stop. One wants to do the maximum that one can so that there is as little as, as you can get away with when it comes to the turning especially as this is not going to be a very easy shape to turn. So just getting the last of the water out, cleaning the bat, and making sure that I cut the wire through with the grain of the bat. There we are, all done. 